Hi, welcome to Zillow Data Exporter. Zillow Data Exporter is a Chrome extension that allows you to export listings from Zillow. You can export listings for sale, listings for rent, sold listings, as well as your favorite properties. Zillow Data Exporter gives you a lot of flexibility to export those listings. For example, if you open the settings menu, you will see different tabs. Each tab has a specific use. In our case, the first tab, you can choose the format of the file in which you want to export your uh, properties. In this case, I chose to export my properties to a CSV file. In the field settings, for each property type, that is for sale, for rent, sold, or saved, you can choose which uh, data points you want to export from the properties. If you want all of them, you can simply select them all and save your setting. Or, if you simply want a few of those, you can select or deselect at will which data points you want to keep. In my case, I'm happy with all the data points, so that's what I will do. Then there are the cloud settings. The cloud settings are again completely optional, but very handy. For example, if you want to save all your exported files to Google Sheets, you can do that. That way, you can always find your exported files directly on your Google account. That is completely optional and re will require you to link your Google account to Zillow Data Exporter. But if you prefer, you can also choose to export the files directly on your computer. In my case, I prefer to have everything on my Google account, just so I don't lose anything. There is also the extension status tab. The extension status tab is my way to show transparency during the development and maintenance of Zillow Data Exporter. When something doesn't work or something appears broken, it is sometimes the truth, but it's also sometimes a minor troubleshooting issue. In this case, if you have any doubts that the extension is broken, you can come to this tab and see if something actually has been reported. When something has been reported as not working properly, I will create a new entry in this tab and you will see it live and you will also see the progress I'm making into investigating the problem. This will help you uh, in understanding that I am working in the background to resolve any issues that may affect the performance of the extension. Finally, there's the account tab where you can see what kind of plan you're on as well as update your subscription or cancel it if you are on the paid plan. And we also have the help and contact tab where you can send me an email, read the blog with different, where you can find inspiration and also find different definite guides on how to do certain procedures with Zero Data Exporter. You can also read the troubleshooting guides for the minor issues that you may encounter during the installation and the use of Zero Data Exporter. Now that we've covered the basics, it's time to do some exporting. Now, if you haven't done that before, click on this little icon at the top right and then find Zero Data Exporter. Here you can find a little pin. This little pin simply pins the icon at the top. Once you click that icon, you should see your name if you're logged in or a button to, that will prompt you to log in into your account if you're not already logged in. And you should also see the two buttons that give you the options to export either the listing on a single page or on all the pages. On a single page, you can expect to export up to 40 listings. But for the multi-page export, you can export up to 800 listings. That is a hard limit that has been set by Zillow and there is no way to go around it. So this number will more or less always be the same. Now that we've covered the basics, uh, one last thing is that you can actually reopen the menu if you wish to update your settings directly from this little pop-up or close it at will. Let's do a quick demo. I'm expecting to have a new export that will be uploaded to my Google Sheets account. As you can see, the last updated was the last uploaded file was at 8.05 tonight. But I will show you that this export actually works. The export usually takes a few seconds. Very quick. And if we go back to Google Sheets, we can see that there is a new entry here with a CSV file. And that file contains 40 records, all the records of the properties that we saw on this page. If we go back, open and choose different fields. For example, I will deselect all the fields 
and only choose the property the URL and maybe the listing description as an example then close this menu again open the little pop-up press the button and it's done now in our Google Sheets we go back and we can see only the two columns have been exported and that's it now you know how to use Zillow Data Exporter if you find any issues or if you have any any problems with it you can always reach out to me via email or directly on Twitter I'm usually pretty quick to respond and I will always get back to you no matter what so that I can fix any issues that you may encounter I hope you have an amazing day slash evening and I will be seeing you soon bye bye